Hi. Today, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about this place between Mondstadt and Li Yue. This place has always fascinated me since the beginning of the game, but sadly it's been closed off for most of the time. If you go over here, you'll see big pools of water that are connected with chinks of village. Also, another thing I found out is that the game still classifies this as Bright Crown Mountains. But if you turn around and you go back over this little ledge, it'll say Storm Terror's Lair. I'm assuming this is still Mondstadt, and it's just going to be an area that's going to connect other places in the future. Also, there's a Calla Lily over there. That's interesting. And if you head more north, you'll be able to see a pretty cool area. So over here north of Storm Terror's Lair, you'll see a huge pool of water. And a wall. And then you'll also see an untextured mountain. Supposedly that's where Dornman Port is, but I can't confirm that. I wonder if they're going to turn this big pool of water into something else for exploration later. We'll have to wait and see. Now if you head back south, you'll be able to see another pool of water that also connects to Chingsa village. If you look closely, that waterfall is actually where the ocean it is. It's a little bit difficult to see from Stormtar's lair, so I'm going to go to the top of the mountain in Chingsa village to get a more clear view. Okay, I just want to bring up something silly. I'm adventure rank 60, and there's a chest right here. You know what? I'm just going to leave this here. I'm never going to open this. Also, I did not expect the chest to be up here. It wouldn't be me if my ideas didn't go terribly wrong. So here's a more clear view of all these water areas between Mondstadt and Liyue. Around where Hu Tao's head is is where that waterfall was. That's where the ocean it is. Interestingly enough, there's also a path that leads between the two areas. Now obviously this area is going to be quite untextured because you're not supposed to go here. This whole space between Monsa and Liyue has always fascinated me, and I'm also confused as to why it's always been this specific area that's been closed off. Maybe they could have just connected it through this path over here, and just allowed us to access it. I'm not sure why it's been closed off, but let me know your thoughts. Once they finally open this place up, I'm curious to see what they'll add. I'm also curious what's over here on the left side of Liyue. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I'm sure a handful of you know that this place exists, but I just wanted to show it because I've always thought it looked cool. If you have any ideas as to what Hoyoverse will add between these two areas, feel free to let me know. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.